welcome back to Mecha March Madness. Now, we've seen a lot of weird random Sonic robots, but you'd be surprised how many designs never actually made their ways into video games or movies or anything. I'm sure that even our favorite designs have some weird prototypes we have never seen, and hopefully someday we will. But when it comes to Sonic Extreme, we have a surprising amount of information about the unfinished game. A lot of that revolving around not one, but many Mecha Sonics. There's been quite a few people asking for these designs to be talked about, and I can't really justify doing a video on each one of them individually. So yeah, now is as good a time as any to take a look at these and give you my thoughts on them. Not really showing you anything new that you can't find yourself, a lot of this information I found from Sonic Retro, and also want to give a shout out to Astro Max for actually sending me an email providing, well, the same sources you'd probably provide in a quick Google search for any of this stuff, but also going out of his way to use the Wayback Machine and dig into Chris Sen's blog. And if you don't know Chris Sen, he is infamous for his connections with Sonic Extreme, which is quite surprising because he has an extensive portfolio when it comes to gaming. But yeah, I will share the sources that were shared with me from Astro, so thank you again for doing that. But please do not take that as an open invitation to send me scripts through email. I was already going to make this video. Anyway, yeah, if you are somehow not aware, Sonic Extreme was the long lost Sega Saturn Sonic game. They got quite a ways into development. Hell, I remember seeing it advertised in magazines as a kid, but due to a whole lot of drama behind the scenes, which was quite the norm for Sega, it never got off the ground, and that is quite a story in and of itself. And yeah, it doesn't look like it would have been that good of a game, but regardless, it is still a Sonic game that we were teased with that we never got to play. And therefore, it will forever be a point of interest for a lot of hardcore Sonic fans, especially those like me that were quite obsessed with the weird early 3D days of Sega. There were a lot of wild ideas at play for Extreme, but one of the most interesting revolves around Metal Sonic. From what I can tell and what I can gather from all the hard work from all the information provided by Sonic Retro, there was a Metal Sonic boss fight, and from our understanding, most of it had been developed. We don't have any actual footage of it, which is a shame. Thankfully, there are fans that were way more dedicated than I have ever been and have gone out of their way and recreated it. This is Sonic Z Stream, and this is the recreated Metal Sonic, put together by XL2, who reused assets found on the leaked 718 build and from the official SDK, with some extra assets provided by Andrew 75. And not only that, it's running on actual Sega Saturn hardware. That's how dedicated the Sonic community is. You keep a Sonic game from them? Fine, they'll make it themselves. Apparently, since this was going to be people's first time with Sonic in 3D, they wanted the bosses to be extra big and easier to hit, which is why Metal Sonic is so stinking huge here. The more I dig into this title, the more fascinating it becomes. We could talk for hours about every little detail, but we have to stay focused on the robots, because this is not the only Metal Sonic designed for this game. Going through a bunch of stuff that Chris posted back in the day, we actually have a lot of information on not one, but five different versions of Mecha Sonic. Now, we don't know if they intended on using every single one of these, but at least according to some notes here, they were planning on at least morphing them. I would assume these radical designs existed so differently from one another to again show off 3D capabilities, and polygons morphing around into a different model is exactly the kind of crap you would see with early 3D. But yeah, the notes here say after Black Badger, which I guess could have been a different boss, they start off with Sonic's duplicate on top, then change into grayscale and morph, or explode, into Mecha Sonic. And this I found very interesting. It seems that Mecha Sonic would have also had a ring total. And as you duke it out, rings will eventually tick down. So it'll be a fight for rings. And Mecha Sonic could magnify to attract rings to certain points. And then I guess Mecha Sonic would jump to different types of platforms after he took a certain amount of damage. And to keep Sonic confined, he spin dashes into a cart with a canopy to bounce and hit Mecha Sonic. It looks like there'd be at like three different levels. These are, again, these are really early notes. Just scribbling ideas down on paper. That rarely stays true for the end product. And yeah, as we are aware, there isn't even an end product for this. But so far, yeah, this is kind of cool. This is a fun way to explore 3D and goofy ways. That was the gimmick back in the day. And I can't really think of any boss fight off the top of my head that had an enemy that also relied on rings as heavily as Sonic does. I'm not sure how well you could make that work, but that would really change up the dynamic between Sonic and his enemies. And I can't think of a more perfect way to do that than providing a duplicate for Sonic. But as you're going to see, not all of them really <laughs> look that close to Sonic. The first robot does, I mean, like a very freaky version of Sonic with the 
busted nose. And hey, if you're a collector of Sonic toys or figures, at some point, one of them is going to lose its nose. I don't care how careful you are. This is destined to happen. As you can see from this first model, they aren't exactly following any kind of design of any mecha prior to this point, which, hey, is kind of in line with the mecha Sonics already, since none of them look like any other ones. But they get more wild from here. This is considered Mecha Sonic Mark 1. But when we move over to Mark 2, we get something that looks, well, kind of like Sonic, I guess. It's got quills, but it is very much a mecha. This looks more like a Sonic Gundam, Green Hill Zone of the Enders. But yeah, it's moving further away from Sonic and doing its own thing. And that's only further emphasized with Mark 3. Look at this wild ass design. There is absolutely nothing here that looks like Sonic. Knuckles, maybe. And that's a big maybe. That's a huge stretch. This is something entirely different, but I don't hate it. This is a unique robot. I love the drills everywhere. It looks like it had the potential to become a drill jet of some sort. I don't know. But this is the first of the robots that actually gets a full finalized colored design. It's got little MSs all over it. I don't know if that would have stuck around or not, but yeah, that's the only indicator that that is a Mecha Sonic. <laughs> now, if you had told me that Mecha Sonic was evolving to become its own robot, divorcing itself from the Sonic moniker, that would make sense to me. That's been a fan theory in my head for a long time. That's something I would potentially do for S3K Mecha Sonic. And that falls in line with what we know about Mecha, where it looks completely different every time we see it. How cool would it be in a game that already has Metal as his own boss fight, showing Mecha evolve during the battle and becoming something unique? That would be fine if we didn't have Mark IV. Moving on from there, we have another robot more akin to a Sonic design, but yeah, <laughs> I can't say I'm a fan. I don't know what's happening here with this weird glaring Cyclops eye. Is that a mouth on its face? I don't know. It does have a mohawk, which is very akin to Sonic 2's design, but then you go down to the body, and what is happening there? Mega Sonic put on its red stilettos and is about to go all dommy mommy on you. Is it going to just step on you until you die? Believe it or not, there is yet one more. Behold, Mecha Sonic Mark V, or as I like to call him, Mecha Rise Star. How does the final form look less intimidating than the first one? It looks like they were more concerned about what the robot could actually do on the battlefield and making it look cool. Going by these rough sketches, you can see some interesting animation ideas. Now, I do not know if they were planning on using all five of these or just a few of these. Maybe they're not in the right order. I don't know, but man, these are very interesting designs. It really makes you wonder what we have not seen in terms of coming up with ideas for Sonic characters. I mean, yes, we know what Shadow was going to be until they finalized that design, and thank God they went through the process of getting that sorted out. When I think about Shadow and I think about the critics who say that he doesn't really look different from Sonic, they didn't put that much effort into him, and then you look back at everything he could have been, yeah, even the simplest little details require a lot of effort and time. And these Mecha Sonics just go to show that. Again, we have no idea if any of these were finalized designs. And honestly, if they were planning on using polygonal models, they probably would have fit much better there. I think they were designing them with early 3D Saturn technology in mind. We genuinely do not know how far along this particular idea was. Or maybe we do. I just did that video about Rocket Metal and that inspired Biggest Sonic Fan over on Twitter to tag me with a bunch of information I was not aware of for that particular robot. And considering all this information out there, that's from hardcore Sonic fans going out of their way to unearth this stuff. Maybe somebody out there has that footage or has more information. Well, Chris, if you see this and you want to talk to me, let me know, man. But yeah, that's all I had to say for this particular episode. I know it's short and sweet, but some of these are going to be. That's just the way it is, especially when something never really got out the door, you know? But yeah, I'm just repeating my points. If there is more to say in the future, I would love an excuse to talk about Sonic Extreme in greater detail. But for now, we gotta wrap it up. We got other things to talk about before this marathon is over. So thank you all for watching, and an extra special thank you to my patrons who've been so unbelievably patient with me. Usually they get videos early, but I've been so determined to get stuff out for you before the end of March. That hasn't been going quite as nicely as I would like, so I am gonna be giving them some 
some extra special stuff once this is all said and done. You guys are absolutely incredible. Thank you so much for keeping me alive. And an extra special thank you to all these failed mecha designs. Kyle Winter, Surus the Skeptic, Joseph Duncan Sonic 2 Blue, John, Josh Strider, Casey Mark 2, Faison Razul, Xanderoni the Painter, Trey Nobles, Hatsworth, Nick S, Tristan Trap, Meekers, Dun Dun, Miles the Prower, Jeremy Singer, Mr. Boo J, Rain, Sam Webster, Dwight Graham, Fish Flop, Lucas Lipker, The Bad Pal, Shodan, Mr. SP, Cecil the Glade, The Dark Neon, Missing No, Stefan Plakonica, Bree Monic, Graham J. Hall, Lennox, you're uploading too fast, I can't keep up, X, Wayne is Boss, Lederick, 64 Bits, David 20, Cover Your Hands, Ryan Rolfs, The Lumberjack, Otis Small, Shifting Flesh, Mute, Trash Baphomet, Autumn from Twitter.com, That Pyromane, Moi Saxy, Jin Sayotome, Cunning Wise, Nezend, Enerjack 5, Duchess Nicole, Sherrod, The Hedgehog, H.R. Hoffman, Spades, The Nocturne, and Ven 101. Just an incredible set of human beings. Holy cow. And hey, to some of my old school followers who have been pitching in $5 or more and don't have their name listed here, be sure you update it to the proper tier. We did that a few months ago, but I am still noticing some folks aren't getting shouted out when I know they deserve to be shouted out. You do have to manually do that. And hey, if you do want to pitch in, got my Patreon link below. And if you want more nonsense from me, especially Sonic related, I do a Sonic themed podcast, Sunset City, with my friends over on that respective channel or your favorite podcast service. I will have that listed below. But yeah, that's gonna do it. Believe it or not, I have a lot of other stuff to get done, so I'm gonna go do it. Toot toot, Sonic Warriors!